Hi everyone, this is Selena Kraus and welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I will show you how to do some creative stenciling or creative masking. We're going to be using the fall leaves uh, background or um, cover plate. And I've die cut it twice, one from masking paper and one for, once from sand cardstock. We're going to be using the sand cardstock for a card, but we're going to use the masking paper as a stencil. So because everything is connected here to create your stencil or your mask, you're going to grab your intricate scissors for intricate ca cutting and you're going to remove the leaves off the background one by one. You can see me here doing the same thing. Uh, they're little, the leaves are very easy to remove because they are hanging onto the background because this is kind of paper layering dye too. So if we, you can kind of lift up uh, the sides of the leaves and make it more dimensional. So it's very easy to uh, cut those out from uh, the background. So I'm just adding. These are connected on the bottom and a little bit on the top. So you can see here and then I'm rounding it up. I'm doing the same with uh, the small, smaller leaves too. And I'm just going around that entire panel and removing all the leaves to create that mask. Okay, by magic of YouTube, that my mask is already done. Now I'm going to remove the backing of the mask because this is masking paper, not stencil material. And I'm going to add it on top of my panel. I'm just making sure it's nice and lined up with my background. So when we add color, it will just go on the leaves, not on the surrounding of the leaves. Just pressing it down, especially where you have more intricate uh, leaves to make sure that that paper, masking paper, doesn't lift off. So because we're doing um, inking on darker cardstock or on colored cardstock, I'm adding some unicorn pigment ink first. So this will allow our colors to be more visible once we apply them on top, especially if we're working with uh, dye inks. And that will be case for me, but if you don't want to use dye inks, you can use uh, pigment, uh, not, yeah, you can also use pigment inks or you can use hybrid or reactive inks. So I'm heat setting the ink or you can set it aside to dry overnight, but usually I don't have patience to dry, uh, let it dry overnight. I am heat setting it. So now I'm adding some butter, uh, butter bar ink and because I already applied the pigment ink, I didn't want to to take any chance to contaminate my ink pad once I pull off that pigment ink from the card in case it was not dried completely. So I'm just going uh, randomly adding different inks onto my background. So I started with butter bar, I went to pumpkin. Next I did cranberry. Now I'm doing green fields. I decided then to add more uh, kind of brown. I'm using the Kappa Joe here for the brown. I decided then to add a little bit brighter green, so I went with fresh lawn. Then some like lighter uh, kind of orange or like more like mustard, so I used the Fawn um, dye ink. So I'm adding more. So here is our it finished result. Well, it's not really finished. That's how it looks like. I know it looks very messy, but here is when we remove that mask where the magic happens. So I think this background turned out pretty good. I really like how it turned out. So next, what we'll do, well, we need to add a sentiment. So I decided to use the brown glitter paper from the a full glitter paper pack and I'm using the Grateful Ford fancy dies to die cut that and I'll also die cut the shadow from the vellum layering paper to create a little bit more dimension and kind of offset it from uh, the background. So I will die cut uh, the thankful sentiment once from the glitter paper 
and I'm using my Hero Arts compact cutter here. So that's our sentiment. I'm just removing the little pieces from in between the letters. And next I'll die cut the mask from the vellum. Again, I'm using the compact cutter for this too. So I wanted to add more dimension to my sentiment and make it more sturdier. So I die cut uh, the sentiment two more times from sand cardstock. So you can see here, they're already die cut by magic of YouTube. And next what I'm doing, I'm just adhering them together to stack them up to create that more, uh, that dimensional look. So I'm starting to line up that sentiment from the left to the right to make sure that uh, everything lines up and we don't create shadow with that um, sentiment, uh, die cut sentiment on the bottom. I'm just pressing it with my scrubber tool to make sure that it's nice and flat. And I'm doing the same thing with the second uh, scent die cut from that thankful sentiment. I'll add that on top and repeating the same process. I'm just lining it up from the left to the right. Okay, I think that looks good. Again, pressing it with my scrubber tool, the back of my scrubber, scrubber tool to make sure that it's nice and flat. Now we can add it to our vellum shadow and add it to our panel. Okay, again, I'll add some, uh, use some liquid adhesive. Uh, but before I add it to my panel, I decided to put another piece of sand cardstock on the back to make that panel more sturdier because we have this, uh, the leaves are cut. So it's a little bit kind of, uh, the cardstock lost its sturdiness. So I just wanted to make sure that my cards is nice and sturdy, especially when it goes through the mail. I'm adding liquid adhesive on the back of the sentiment. And using my Hero Arts Reverse Tweezers, I'm adding it to my panel. I'm gonna press it again with my scrubber tool. And now it's just, uh, we need to adhere it to our panel, uh, to our note card. So to I decided to add another piece of scent cardstock to add even more dimension and sturdiness to my card. So I'm just adding adhesive, adding that to the back, and then I will adhere it to a sand top folding note card. Again, I'm using liquid adhesive. I find it that it uh, works great when I'm adding layers to my card because it gives me more time to move things around and make sure that are nice and straight. So to finish off uh, my card, I decided to use some uh, cork Hero Pearls, added three on the left and three on the right to finish it up. And here is our finished result. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hero Arts YouTube channel so you're not missing any videos. And also visit our blog for more ideas and more inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye.